got it fired up oh yeah I'm gonna do a cook on it so I'm gonna do some chicken breast at the end I'll put some Texas pepper jelly on there oh yeah some bird bath on there mm -mm -mm. but yeah I'm gonna let it go for around 250 to 300 I'm cool with that you know just take take you know it's okay to take that time hey I'm here to relax I'm gonna hang out and then just watch this work so let's get to cooking there's the chicken breast look at that season with the salt lick barbecue rub love that rub so let's get it on that's what it looks like right there let me get you push you right there it you and look at these are meaty They are meaty. You don't have to move them more this way. Get some more room. Yeah, just like that. What do you think? On the kettle. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Let me get some uh, some wood chunks on there. Some pecan. Sit you over there. Let's get you right there. So that's it is. I'm gonna leave the cooking grate open on that side. But yeah, looking good. So let's cover it up and let's get to cooking. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, look at hot rod in action, smoking the pecan wood. Man. It has been doing awesome. Look at that smoke. Rolling smoke right now. Rolling that smoke. Alright, let's check the temp. We're sitting at what close to 240. Yeah. Yeah, wide open. And I did shut it down. So that's what it looks like right now. If I shut it down even more, it's going to completely close it. But, ready? <coughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. They're coming along. With some big chicken breasts. That there B&B, so far. Well, that pecan. We'll see if I have to add some more. You know, using the the Weber charcoal basket so they're not that big so and the B&B briquettes they're big so <laughs> you can't fill up too much in them <laughs> compared to like the Kingsford Kingsford you can load them up in there that's what it looks like so yeah see see how wide it is or I should say how closed yeah yeah let's close it up and uh Let's continue on on this uh, hot but good Sunday. All right, we're close to 250. I know the maroon's a little hard to tell on because of the camera, but we're sitting close to 250. And that's with the top bit wide open. And then the bottom right there, not too closed but if I were to move it more then it would be closed yeah so it's holding steady that were briquetto and also the B&B &B. and those briquettes they don't mess around I mean if you're gonna do low and slow they work if you do hot and fast they work I'm telling you they'll man you can lay out full basket of Charcoal B and B here in your Weber. You want to grill some steaks, burgers, whatever it is, chicken, whatever. You need it to go for a good amount of time. That B and B will work, even hot. But yeah, that's what it is. Low and slow. Low and slow. Man, just sorry. I just got to give you uh, some close up. Look at that. 
All right, let me get back to my drinking and uh, and the, let the cooking continue. All right, where we at? Close to 250, so around what, 235, uh, 240, but same thing, wide open, same spot, but uh, let's check them out. <coughs> oh man, look at that. Think they're done? Let's check it out. Oh yeah, let's get a little more. Oh man, I wish I didn't puncture it, but I had to. Let's get this one. Yeah, it's 150. So, oh man, I just squirted it out. So this one's gonna be done soon. Give another what 20 minutes maybe, since it's smaller than the other three. Um, so that one was reading what, uh, 150, so it, it's almost got some time. I'm probably going to end up in a little bit, add some more briquettes when I do, I'll bring you back to show you that, but that's going to come off soon, for sure, it's the smaller than the other three, as you can see, and, yeah, but yeah, so let me close it off. Once I bring take that one off, and then I'll add some more because you know there's still some briquettes that haven't been lit yet. But yeah, it's been going pretty good, it's been holding steady. I'm gonna take this breast off, so this one's done. I'm gonna move this one to the middle, move you right there, yeah, right there. So, like that's it. I'm gonna add some more B and B briquettes. I think that'll do for right now, right? Don't you think? <clears throat> so, let's close it up and uh, let's continue on and finish off the three. It's gotten dark. Nighttime already. I don't know if you can see that star over there. It's getting kind of blurry. There's a star right there, but yeah. It's dark, but let there be light. So let's check it out. <laughs> oh man. Gotta put the beer down. All right, don't they look beautiful? Look at that, look at that color. That B&B, &B, the pecan, man. There it is, B&B. &B. The wood chunks are pretty much gone. Look at that, beautiful color. Yep. Yeah. All right, so what do you think? What do you think uh, they're at? I want to say one, 180. I bet they're at 180. Uh, no? This one? Close? This one? Well, yeah, this one's a little bit more. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it chill for about 10 minutes. I'm going to give it 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna put some Texas pepper jelly, peach mango, bird bath. That's gonna be delicious. Man. <sighs> Stay with me. It's been a good day, been a good day. This is Moe's Black Goat Barbecue. I'm gonna tell you, go out if you can, if you can buy this in stores or online, Texas pepper jelly, this it's some great stuff right here. I'm gonna glaze it up, but that bird bath is made for poultry, peach mango. I'm telling you, go out and get you some if you can. Order online, you won't disappoint it. It's just not for poultry. They have for ribs. They have it if you want it hot, man. They got it hot where it's gonna burn your mouth. Trust me, the habanero, oh my God. It's gonna burn your mouth when you bite into whatever meat that you place it on. But I'm telling you, 
get you this Texas pepper jelly you won't be disappointed so the breasts they're ready to go so I'm gonna go and uh, um, before I before I glaze it up just look how beautiful they look look at that skin color that pecan giving that skin color that B and B oh man but let's go yeah just like that you need to get some more get some more on there yeah come on, I want some more let's just glaze it up let's go with the other one just like that glaze it up some more now don't be shy get some more flavor right you just don't want that uh, rub that you placed on your meat the meat itself let's give it some more flavor why not right it's your food you cook it how you want it that's what my thinking is you cook it how you want it and I'm gonna let it go for 10 minutes and then they're gonna be done you can flip it on the other side if you want but I'm just doing it on this side BAM uh, Texas pepper jelly alright so 10 minutes I'm gonna take them off alright won't you look at that beautiful Ugh. Look at that. Don't even want to eat them. That's how beautiful they look. Look at that. Whoa, almost dropped it. <laughs> it's a fine looking breast, don't you think? All right. So that's what it looks like. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna let them rest, and then you know what? I'm hungry. We cooked starting. Uh, I mean, obviously daytime now or nighttime. So, like I said, I wanted to keep it at 250 to 300, but it kept around close to 250. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'm cool with that. That's the whole point of this, is just doing what you want to do, doing what you love, and I love this, just sitting back, relaxing, and just listening to music, drinking some brew, just chilling. That's the whole point of this. I mean, just relax, have a good time. You know what I mean? Just have a good time by yourself, family, friends. Just have a good time. That's my message, just have a good time. Look at that. See me having a good time led to this right here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take this inside and then uh, I'm going to eat. So this is going to be it for right now for this video and uh, just want to say that this Weber did awesome. Picked it up in the neighborhood. Neighbor left in the curb. I picked it up and if you saw my previous video you saw that I put it together I Frankensteined it new wheels new legs catch uh, charcoal catcher and then the uh, temp gauge so yeah just put it together and it did awesome it held temps well that charcoal basket so yeah so this is it I don't know you can see me well, you see me good, you see me good. But yeah, so I don't know if you get me in view, so I'm gonna get level with the camera, but yeah. So I'm hungry. As always, thank you for by, thank you for watching. Smoke on everyone. <sighs> so delicious.